Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Gerwitt here at Performance Sport and Spun, and today we're going over lateral band walks, also known as crab walk. So there's no best position for placing the band on a specific part of your body. Different places on your limbs just emphasize or target different muscles, and we'll go over that next. So research has shown that by placing the band on different parts of our leg, we can activate or target different muscles. So by placing the band just above your knees and doing the crab walk, this emphasizes the hip flexor muscles. Placing the band around your ankles targets your TFL, which is an anterior hip muscle, as well as your gluteal muscles. Placing the band around the middle foot targets or emphasizes the glute muscles the most. So now we'll go over some common training errors or mistakes that we see. So the first error is instead of using our glute, people kind of lean with their body and then pull their leg afterwards and since we're trying to emphasize the glute make sure to drive out with your leg and then pull the other one in keeping your body nice and centered the next area is just taking two small steps so you lose tension on the band make sure to keep your feet wider than your shoulders and you should maintain tension on the band through the whole motion even when you're moving one leg so another error is leaning too far forward onto our knees and getting off our midfoot so when you're going if you feel like you have too much stress on your knees make sure to shift back into your hips and keep your weight over your midfoot the last is dosage, making sure that you use the right resistance band for your current fitness level and making sure that you're not doing too much or too little in terms of distance traveled. Thank you so much for watching our video today. We really hope you found it helpful. If you did, please like our video and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to turn on the notifications.